In this video, we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to stability analysis. So, you can observe this problem, this is also a previous gate problem. The feedback control system in figure is stable. So, when for all k greater than or equal to 0, only if k greater than 1, only if 0 less than k less than 1, only if 0 less than or equal to k less than or equal to 2. Which condition is the right condition? when the feedback control system is given by this block diagram. So, is stable. Which condition is perfect condition? To say this block diagram describing a system, control system is stable. So, now whenever you got any problem related to stability analysis, to examine the stability, route array is the best way. To write the route array, definitely we require the characteristic equation of the system. But here they just given the block diagram, but they did not given any characteristic equation. From the block diagram given, we need to determine the transfer function. From the transfer function, we need to get the characteristic equation and after that, from that we need to write the route array. From the route array, we can get the conditions for stability. So, this is the steps we need to follow. First of all, what is the relation between transfer function and characteristic equation means transfer function will be in the form of g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s. If you observe the block diagram, this is a negative feedback, negative feedback control system. For this, the transfer function or gain of this negative feedback control system is g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s. Now, the relation between characteristic equation and transfer function is always the denominator of this transfer function will show you the characteristic expression. If you want the characteristic equation, then you need to consider 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0. Where g of s is the open loop transfer function or open loop gain and h of s will be the feedback gain or feedback transfer function. If you observe the open loop gain, here you are having two gains in your open loop path, open loop forward path, you, you can observe two gains. Do not misunderstand this is only the condition and not gain. Do not think like that. This is definitely a gain. Whenever you observe condition like thing in a uh, box, definitely you can treat that as your gain, but that gain is having particular condition. This is the meaning of k greater than 0. Here we are having a series gain with this gain. But the k value is always greater than or equal to 0. Now, so here to get g of s, I am having two gains in cascade in series. By multiplying series gains, we are going to get the total open loop gain. So, here you just forget about this condition, the value is k. The, please keep in mind. Up to the end, please keep in mind, whatever the value of k you consider, that must be greater than or equal to 0. So, now, here I am writing g of s. How we will get g of s? Just by multiplying these two. That means, k into s minus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square. So, here, so this is over. I multiplied k with this. I got g of s. Coming to h of s, h of s is nothing but feedback gain. So, here feedback gain is s minus 2 that means h of s is s minus 2. So, by solving this equation we are going to get the characteristic equation. You can see I am writing like this. So, I am solving and writing like this s square plus 4 s plus 4 s plus 2 I am cross multiplying and expanding plus k into s minus 2 whole square means s square minus 4 s plus 4 is equal to 0. I just cross multiplied and I send this denominator to 0 and I solve both s plus 2 whole square and s minus 2 into s minus 2 s minus 2 whole square. From this I can take common of s square coefficient why because our characteristic equation must be in terms of s coefficients. 
So, that is why. So, s square into k plus 1. So, you can see here 1 and here k. So, now plus s into so, s into 4 minus 4 k. So, here you can observe 4 and here minus 4 k plus so s s square term is over s term is over s power 0 term that means constant terms. So, 4 plus 4 k is equivalent to 0 this will be your characteristic equation after getting characteristic equation to get the stability conditions we need to go for rho theory. Always to write rho theory I am taking this line and left to this line I need to consider the s powers from maximum to minimum in descending order. So, by this characteristic equation my maximum s power is s square and minimum s power will be s power 0. So, s square s and s power 0. First two rows of this rho theory can be filled by the coefficients of the characteristic equation like this. You can see the first coefficient is k plus 1, second coefficient is 4 minus 4 k, third coefficient is 4 plus 4 k. First two rows will fill like this a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6 like that will fill. How many coefficients we are having that many columns we will get the, the divided by 2 columns we will get. So, <clears throat> up to here we got 3 coefficients no more coefficients are there that is why I am taking 0 and I am closing my router in. So, here s power 0 term s power 0 term always s power 0 term in router is equivalent to constant term in the characteristic equation. So, in the characteristic equation the constant term is 4 plus 4 k. So, we need to consider 4 plus 4 k. We completed writing rho theory. Once characteristic equation is done then <coughs> simply we can write the rho theory. By this rho theory what we need to specify? We need to specify the condition of k. Already we are having one condition k must be greater than or equivalent to 0. So, now here I am going to get the conditions already they given k greater than or equivalent to 0 already they given one condition k greater than or equivalent to 0 this is first condition from the router a according to the stability analysis if they are saying this system is stable this router a is also stable so if router a is stable the first column elements are positive that means greater than 0 that means k plus 1 is greater than 0 that implies k greater than minus 1 and from second column element 4 minus 4 k greater than 0. So, that implies 4 greater than 4 k. So, 4 ones 4 ones. So, 1 greater than k or k less than 1 we can write like this also k less than 1 this is one condition this is another condition and here last one 4 plus 4 k must be greater than 0 by this 4 greater than minus 4 k 4 4 will be cancelled. So, you are going to get the same condition k greater than minus 1. So, if you send this minus to here, so this will become, so we will get less than minus 1 less than k that means k greater than minus 1 you will get the same condition. If you have done sign change greater than will become less than less than will become greater than. So, you will get the same condition. So, finally, we are having 4 conditions in that 4 conditions this is common one. So, finally, we are having 3 conditions that is 2 and 3. So, k greater than minus 1, k less than 1 and k greater than or equivalent to 0. So, by clubbing all these conditions, your k value must be in between 0 less than or equivalent to 
k less than 1. This will be your condition. Generally, according to this, your k value must be in between minus 1 less than k less than 1. But they are saying, so here they are limiting that condition to k greater than or equivalent to 0. Yes, after minus 1, you are having 0 only. So, 0 is equivalent to or less than k. So, here this will be your condition 0 less than or equivalent to k less than 1 or if you consider any condition, if you consider k greater than or equivalent to 0, this will not satisfy the k less than 1 condition. If you consider k greater than or equivalent to 1, so we are not having any equivalent to 1 condition. If you consider this equation, that is, this is satisfying all three conditions. K is greater than 0 or equal to 0. K is greater than 0 or equal to 0. That will satisfy this condition also. For example, K is equal to 2. That will satisfy this condition. For example, K is equal to 0. That will satisfy this condition. And here, this equation will satisfy all these three conditions. So, that is why the right option for this question is option number C.